Hey everybody, Charlie Weiser from EasyPiano.com. I got a really cool progression for you and a really cool way, a creative way to practice your inversions and slash chords. Here's our progression. One, two, three, four. So this progression is going to be really easy to learn. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the progression, turn it upside down, and we're going to use it to practice our inversions. So let me give you a sample of what we're going to learn in today's lesson. One, two, three, four. All right, so let me show you how to put everything together. So let's go ahead and start the party. First, I got some new chords for you I have to show you. So we're going to be playing in the key of F. So you remember the key of F is this. Okay, so numbering our tones. F is 1. G is 2. A is 3. B flat is 4. C is 5, D is 6, E is 7, and then we're back to 1 again. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move our chords this way. So in the left hand, our bass line, we're going to start with F here. Here's middle C. It's the first F lower. We're going to go two Fs lower than that middle C. So we're going to be going pretty low. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play number 1. And then we're going to go backwards. But instead of playing number seven, we're going to flat number seven. So number seven is E, so we're going to flat it. All right? So our progression is this. We're going to go from the one to the flat seven to the six to the five. Then we're going to do it again. So one, flat seven, six, five. That's the progression. So let me show you the new chords. Okay, the first chord we're going to be playing is going to be our F chord. Okay, so that's going to be our regular first inversion that we've already learned in, uh, I think, we covered in the previous two free lessons. Okay, so this is the F chord root position, F chord first inversion. Next chord we're going to play is going to be an E flat major chord. Now, here's the way you form the chord. If we take the note E flat, okay, and it's the same concept here. This is E, right? So if we flat, that means we go one half step lower. Okay, so this is E flat. So what's going to happen is the notes that we're going to use for the E flat major chord are going to be E flat, G, and B flat. Okay, and so for right now, just go ahead and play this chord. So this is E flat major chord. But what we're going to do is we're going to play the first inversion of that. So the way that we create it is we drop the bottom note E flat, Put it on top. Okay, so that's our E flat major chord first inversion. So all we're gonna do is when we start, we're gonna play the F chord, then we're gonna play the E flat chord. Now we're gonna do a slash chord, and the slash chords are the chords like we had in the last lesson where I was telling you if you change the bass note, then you change the sound of the chord. So here's what we got. Left hand, we're playing number six, which is D, right? Right hand, we're just going to play an F chord over a D. 
And what I'm doing is I'm playing that first inversion of the F chord, remember? This one here, over a D. And then the last chord we'll learn in our progression is going to be a B flat chord over a C. Okay, so on the left hand is number five, C. Right hand, we're gonna play the B flat chord. This is the way you form it. So you play B flat, and remember the flat, this is B, flat it. You play D, you play F. That's a B flat chord. So another slash chord here is the B flat chord in the right hand over C in the left hand. Gives you a nice contemporary sound. Okay, so real quick, those chords are the F chord, first inversion, E flat chord, first inversion, back to the F chord, first inversion over a D. Then the B flat chord over C. Okay, real quick, a note on this B flat chord in the key of F, one, two, three, four. You remember B flat started on the fourth tone in the key of F, so the B flat chord in the key of F is actually the four chord in the key of F. All right, so what we have here is we have the four chord, B flat chord over C. All right, so our chords one more time. Each chord's gonna get four beats. So let me just play it like that. So one, two, three, four. So F, two, three, four. Then E flat, two, three, four. F over D, two, three, four. B flat over C. Let me do it again. Three, again. So F, two, three, four. E flat, two, three, four. F over D, two, three, four. B flat over C. And then to end it, We'll just end it on a F chord. All right? So before we get to our cool way of practicing our inversions along with these slash chords here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that rhythm that you heard me playing at the beginning of the video. So it sounds like this. I'm just playing the notes, but I'm putting a rhythm to it. So the rhythm is da, 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 da on each note. So da, 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 da the E flat. D, C, again F, E flat, D, C, in it on the F. All right, when I play the chords in the right hand, I'm just hitting the chords and holding them. So here we go, one, two, three, four. it again. E flat. D. C. Let's do it one more time. F. E flat. F over D. B flat over C. And let's end it on the F. All right, so that's your first cool thing to practice. Now, let's go ahead and apply uh, this to our inversions, all right? So what we have is we're starting off with the F, right? So what we can do, and you can be really flexible here, is you can start here if you want and just go up. So then we got our second inversion. Still the same notes. Here's how I formed it real quick. I took the first inversion, dropped the bottom note F, or A I mean, and put the A on top. That's the second chord, okay? Dropped the bottom note this time, and then we're in root position. So it sounds like this. Okay? E flat, we can do the same thing. So we got the E flat here. Drop the bottom note G, put it on top. That's our second inversion of the E flat major chord. Drop the bottom note B flat, put it on top. We're in root position. Okay, so E flat again is this. And then the F over D, so the right hand is the same thing we did for F. Okay, so that one's the same. 
in the B flat over C. So we're in root position here for our four chord. So if we drop the B flat, put it on top. It's the first way we play it. Drop the D, put it on top. So here. Okay, so when I play those four bars through, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me do it again a little bit slower. So one, two, three, four. E flat, F over D, B flat over C. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually holding the first note for two beats. So it's like this, one, two, three, four. One, two, then three, four, then here. One, two, three, four, one, two. So the first chord is for two beats, then one beat on each chord after that. So let me go ahead and play it uh, a couple of times through. And, um, you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll call off the chord as I do it. So one, two, three, four. So F chord, E flat chord, D, F over D actually, B flat over C. Let me do it again. So F chord, E flat, F over D, B flat over C, and then let's end it on the F. So you can either end it here, or you can come here. And then if you want to do like we did in our last two lessons, or you know the uh, previous lessons, where you know you can do this if you want. do that or if you end up here same thing and I know I'm out of the range of the camera but doing the exact same thing all right and that way it makes it sound a little bit uh, fancier so now let me go ahead and play that through one last time I'll play it through a couple of times and then I'm not gonna say anything this way you can hear the complete sound so here we go one two three four So there you have it. Now I can give you one last thing if you want. And uh, this could be a little bit of a challenge. You remember before we were doing this? Right, if you wanna add those inversions into that, that would be a little bit of a challenge for you. So your challenge piece. So let me go ahead and uh, play it for you. So one, two, three, four. So there you have it, a little bit of a challenge. And it sounded differently because I was uh, applying the pedal technique to that. So if you want, you know, you get everything down, feel free to go ahead and work on that. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I will see you in the next lesson.